Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today I thought we'd talk about socialisation and what that means or doesn't mean. So when you think about socialisation, what do you actually mean? What are you talking about? Your average person probably thinks dog to dog socialisation, but it's much, much more than that. So a definition of socialisation might be learning to behave in a way that is socially acceptable. So that would encompass all sorts of different things about general behaviour and not specifically just dog to dogs. So it's much, much wider dogs and humans, dogs and other things, inanimate objects, cars, buses, trains. Do you have a train near you? Do you have to walk near where trains are? What would your dog do with all of those different sounds and sights, things moving past them very, very quickly? This is all socialisation. So then if you think about what, what's socially acceptable, what are the behaviours that you think most people would think was socially acceptable? And we're going to look at that in a moment. Social acceptability is an interesting concept because it does change with time. So um, this was actually after we came out caves, but when I was little, um, it was socially acceptable to just let your dog out of the door in the morning and to call it back in later on in, in the day, late afternoon, evening, depending on the time of the year. And that was absolutely the done thing. Um, I was brought up on a, a council estate and most people had uh, some type of mongrel, a Heinz 57. Um, they, very few people had uh, pedigree dogs, so that was the norm. Most people just let the dog out in the morning and called it back in at night. So it was, it was a common thing that when you were walking, uh, along the street that there'd be loose dogs just wandering around um, and, and that was a common thing. Today it would be completely socially unacceptable to have lots of loose dogs around. So social acceptance, now, obviously most of the time we're, we're thinking of humans, however here's the puppy with the adult dogs and they all react to him in different ways so you can see that Kevin doesn't clearly doesn't want to play but he's being very polite with him very tolerant so now <laughs> Kevin's actually engaging in in play so that's mutual hey you know good boys so Kevin got a little bit too much for a small puppy so I intervened with just a verbal correction So we can see here that Puppy isn't engaging with Michael whatsoever and that's because Michael is completely uninterested in him. So he's learnt already not even to bother with Michael. And Simon doesn't tend to play with him, um, but again he's very tolerant of him. The dogs have different personalities and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever, just like you and I all have different personalities, the dogs do as well. Please, let's go this way, come on. So there little Thomas was trying to get Simon to play with him and you can see that Simon is turning his head away in a very polite way and then he's just moving away. So that, that's actually 
I mean, he's only a puppy, but that's actually quite rude to go over the a dog's back in this way. But Simon is so polite and tolerant, he's just ignored him. And then actually, Kevin's willing to play, so he's, he's now playing with Kevin. So Kevin's considerably bigger. Oh, enough. Enough. Oh, enough. So Kevin's considerably bigger um, than Thomas, so we have to intervene if necessary. So we don't want any the unintentioned outcomes. So here you can see that um, Kevin is lowering his head. He's clearly trying to tell Thomas that he's happy to play. Social acceptability is going to mean different things to different people. So, I generally advise people to go on. So, what would your average person want to see? What would those behaviours be that the average person would expect? So, the sorts of things that we're thinking about or not thinking about is barking. Most people don't find that socially acceptable, even if they're dog people. But some people do. Some people think it's quite fun to hear and watch. Uh, lunging at dogs, other dogs, uh, at other people. Again, they're typically going to be things that most people won't find socially acceptable. Stealing, stealing items, stealing food. We're here in Clumber Park today. So around at the cafe, there's lots of people and dogs milling around and uh, it would be considered socially unacceptable for dogs to be jumping up on tables and stealing. So here we have some well socialised dogs milling around at Clumber Park Visitor Centre near the cafe. So if you agree with me that good socialisation is about not barking, not lunging at other dogs, at other people, then these are the things that we need to teach our puppies. Socialisation to moving vehicles. Good boy. Let him watch the car go fast, then he gets the tree. Come 
Good lad. Good boy. Thomas. 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 So learning how to behave in a socially acceptable way will mean different things to different people and in different situations. So we happen to have chickens. So clearly in terms of social acceptability uh, acceptability for us in our situation is going to include him behaving around chicken. Good lad. Good lad. So we happen to live in a bungalow, so here we've got some steps, so I'm just practicing little Thomas going up and down the steps because we don't normally have any steps at home for him to go up and down, good lad. Lots of dogs will chase cycles 
So here I'm playing a little retrieving game with Thomas while some cyclists go past, as you can see. He's not on the lead, he's, he's free. But I'm giving him something to do instead of potentially chasing the cycles. So he's far too busy doing what he wants to do, which is finding the dummy and bringing it back to me rather than chasing the cycles. So in this way he's learning all very positively about the right behaviours. Here we have Thomas meets the snowman. What's that then, Tommy? What is it? 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 Scary pants. It's clever, isn't it? Good boy. Thomas. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Not so scary after all. Thomas. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Not so scary. Just a bit of snow. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs>